Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. It's been a hell of a long time, but today I'm going to be showing my comic book pickups from my local comic book shop for the week of December 6, 2023. First off from CEX Comics Experience Publishing, we have The Wire Fence, issue number one. This of course is written by Jake Plum. Palermo, I, I can never pronounce names. Palermo, Palermo, I believe that's how I say it. Uh, we had him on the podcast a little while ago doing an interview for this very book and talking about it. Definitely going to want to go check that one out. Go seek that out. I think it's maybe issue, or sorry, uh, episode number 31, but I can't remember too well off the top of my head. Next up from Vault Comics, I have issue number five of The Nasty. A very, very good book. If you're not checking that out, make sure you do. It's really fun. A new number one from Black Box Comics. This is Dead Detective issue number one. Looks promising. Of course, as always, I have to pick up my Archie's and this is the official comic book of Christmas. Archie Christmas Spectacular issue number one. Just look at the cover art on that thing. It's beautiful. Love Archie books. That is awesome. Next up, we have from Uncivilized Publishing, or Uncivilized Comics, can't remember the name of the publisher, but uh, we have chapter number three of The Sickness, a such an amazing horror comic. This is written by Lonnie Nadler, illustrated by Jenna Chaw. Had them both on the show as well. Uh, fantastic interview did with them. You're definitely going to want to check that out. Go back and check through the all new, uh, sorry, all new, all different number one comics podcast and check out that interview with Lonnie and Jenna, The Sickness is so good. Such an amazing comic, excited to read chapter three there. Got a new number one from Dark Horse Comics this week with Time Traveler Tales. Always love my time travel stuff and Tales and Time Travel sounds amazing. Can't wait to check that one out. We, from Boom Studios, we have a second printing on Zawa issue number one. This of course written and illustrated by Michael Dalialis, Dalinalis, I can't say names, as you can tell. Had him on the podcast as well to talk about this book. And we also uh, dedicated a bonus episode to this book. So two different ways to check that out on the podcast. Definitely going to want to check that out. Really excited to get this second printing. Such cool artwork. Uh, this was a fun, unique book. Speaking of having people on the show, here's another one from Boom Studios. Uh, this is The Space Between, issue number two. A fantastic book. The first issue was so amazing. And of course, we had Karina on the show to talk about this book. Uh, you can go back and dig through the archive. She's on the podcast as well, talking about this book before the first issue dropped. Amazing creator. Such a cool, cool creator. So glad I got to talk to her. Uh, next up from Boom Studios as well is Stuff of Nightmares, Slay Ride. This is a one shot for Christmas. This is R.L. Stein's uh, Christmas horror book. It's R.L. Stein. Check it out. It's fun, at least. Over to Image Comics. We have issue number two of Blood Commandment. Really dark. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'll have to get the glare off a little, but yeah. Great cover there. Next up from Image Comics, we have, uh, and I think this is in association with Skybound or in uh, whatever, whatever you call that. Here's the holiday special for Creepshow. Creepshow has been so good. It's been so fun. Been so creepy. Definitely check that out. A new number one from Image Comics. Here is Our Bones Dust. Check that out. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what to say. I didn't read the synopsis. Uh, in association with Skybound again, here is Transformers issue number three. The new Daniel Warren Johnson Transformers. Really good stuff there. Definitely going to want to pick that up, check it out. This book's really cool too. Of course, it's written by Rick Remender, so what else would you expect? This is The Sacrificers, issue number five. Such badass art in that book too. Here's a new number one from Joe, or sorry, a new number zero from Joe Casey and Nathan Fox. Dutch, issue zero. I don't know if that came out this week or if I just picked it up this week, but either way, there it is. From Image Comics, here is Bloodrick, number one. Check out that awesome, awesome cover. 
And check out that cool heavy metal font for the trade dress. Really awesome stuff. So stoked to read that. So stoked to read this issue number three of Knights. This book is really good. If you've not checked that out, check out Knights. Sorry, there's such a glare. It's hard to get a good picture of the cover. Just trust me, this is a great book. You're going to want to be picking that up. New number ones from Marvel this week. We've got The Century. We have a new volume of The Century or something going on with The Century. So there is Century number one. Here's another new number one. This is Thunderbolts number one. And I grabbed this variant cover here because it's just awesome looking. Black Widow Venom. Uh, here is a great Peach Momoko cover. I love this one. This is the Nightmare variant by Peach Momoko of Daredevil issue four. That is just such a crazy, crazy cover. Definitely stoked I picked that up. It's so cool. This is an awesome cover too. Of course, Amazing Spider-Man. We've been doing these uh, Disney 100 homages and, and all of that. So this is issue number 39 of Amazing Spider-Man. Sorry, I couldn't remember the issue number. So I'm take out that backing board and check it out. But of course, of the famous X-Men number one, this is a really, really cool cover. I love this goofy and uh donald and uh, mickey there on the cover as the x-men really really fun stuff dig that here is the actual x-men book issue number 29 part of the fall of x fall of 10 i don't know here's venom issue number 28 We've got Avengers issue number eight, Twilight Dreaming part two. And next up over to DC Comics, of course, the amazingly amazing, well-written Kelly Thompson, uh, Birds of Prey issue number four. Check out the cover on that, so good. Really good looking stuff. I grabbed the uh, Battle Roar sound effects variant cover for Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. Grabbed that cover. I don't know what I'll ever do with this. I guess I'll never take it out of the bag and board, but or out of the sorry the sealable the 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 bag uh, whatever you call this the bag that it's in. <laughs> but it does have a sound effect there. I guess you have to open it up to be able to hear that sound effect. Uh, I grabbed Batman issue 140. This is uh, the Santa issue. This is such a cool cover. Look at this homage cover. It's so awesome. I want this thing slabbed and on this wall back here because it looks so cool. I really dig that cover. Might be my favorite cover of the week. I don't know. I don't normally do that, but it's so awesome. Here's a David Nakayama variant for Poison Ivy issue 17. Really nicely done as well. David Nakayama, always doing awesome stuff. Here is the book that we will be talking about on this week's episode. This is Batman Santa Claus Silent Night, issue number one, with this cool cover. Stoked to read this book and talk about it. I bet it's going to be really, really good. I hope it's going to be really, really good. And I picked this up. I don't think this is new this week. I think this is from last year, but... This is DC vs. Vampires, the Coffin Edition, collecting issues one of three of the Blood Curdling New Series. So guys, that's what I picked up from my local shops this week. Let me know in the comment comments below what you guys picked up this week. Uh, let me know if I missed out on anything awesome, and let me know what you guys are reading. As I said, it's been a long time since I've done a haul video. I just keep forgetting to make them, so I'm going to try my best to make them again. But please let me know if you guys are checking out the podcast. All new, all different, number one comics podcast. If you're enjoying the show, if you have any suggestions, any feedback, uh, anything like that, greatly, greatly appreciated. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out the video. And I'll see you guys next time.